Hey guys, what is up? And uh, yeah, welcome back to the hell, basically, that is the Franco-Prussian War Round 2 Electric Boogaloo. Um, <laughs> so basically now, a lot of this is just attacking the French at every chance, because they're not going to win. I like They have more men, no they don't, they have less men than me. They're minus 18 now. Um, the Russians aren't pushing in there. The Italians are suiciding me in Italy. A lot of this is just sort of about waiting and holding now. So, I mean, ultimately there's not that much point. We don't actually have that much jingoism. Which is a bit of an issue because it means that we can't attack and take provinces that we'd want to or like to. So, I mean, this is unfortunate, but there's not a lot that can be done about that. Um... So, a lot of this is just sort of going to have to... If I siege down Brussels, I wonder if I can just piece them out. It'd be really nice if I could just piece Bru uh, Belgium out. But we shall see, I guess. We're going to whip... Okay, that was in the north. That's fine. I panicked then. Because I had no idea what just happened. But that's okay. That was just the northern provinces. That doesn't overly matter all that much. Uh, we want to increase state capitalism because we want to build our own factories because we wish to have a control over our own economy. So, down here is held really, really well. They've not been able to push through. They've tried several times to push through and every single time they've been battered back. And it's kind of funny. In a Has my game crashed? Are we back? We're back. Okay, that was incredibly strange. The game just froze entirely. Hopefully that's fine. That hasn't done it into the recordings, I don't think. So, I don't need you. Okay, you can go back there. You've, got, you've lost a unit, in fact. That is crazy. Uh, go to there. You can go there. So we're going to attack them wherever we can, just to keep from losing. So... They are wanting to desperately take land, not from me, mainly from the Scandinavians they're wanting to take land from, which is strange, all things considered. Am I even remotely close? No, I have in fact lost war support. That is not ideal. I can't actually do much, I think I'm just going to have to piece this out really, I mean... There's not. I can sit and fight this for as long as I want, but at the same time, it's not going to do anything for me. Um, so, like, I can. All I'm doing is currently be, oh, I'm slaughtering them, but I am also at the same time losing units as well. So, well, yeah, I am losing units as well. So, it, it, it's you know, it's do I continue this war just to prove a point, or do I ultimately? piece out because I know it makes more sense. I can't, there's no chance I'm actually going to be able to take any land. There's no chance I'm going to get anything from this other than a white piece. So what difference, what point does it actually make to sit in this and continue? Especially if I had the Bel Belgians piece there. But yeah, we're just going to end this because it's pointless. It is pointless being in this conflict because there was no reason for us to sit in that because all that was happening constantly was it was just going backwards and forwards. We were winning. Con we were winning. We weren't ever in contention of losing. There wasn't any, you know, doubt really. But at the same time, it was just very much uh, my own population didn't see the point. So at that point, what is you know, literally, what is the point in staying in that f in that fight? Realistically, there's none. So, you know, that th that's the reality of it, I guess. Um, are we able to? Yes, we are. So let's hopefully grab them, because we need certain nations because they keep on walking through our lands, and I'm not down about that even remotely. <laughs> if I'm honest with you, Switzerland allowing them to walk through our land—that wasn't cool. Same with the Dutch, same with, you know, literally everyone, basically. 
the Italians got their asses handed to them, which is lovely, because that means that, you know, my units can hold their own. Even down here, I didn't really even have to look at the Italian front, and they were fine. So, I think that is the way to go with regards to that. Um, it would be the same here. Most of it was okay on the French front. It was just in the up in the northern parts more so than anything, along with the Belgians and that. That was where it sort of started to become a little bit chaotic. Over in the east, I couldn't defend any of this, so it was just a lot about just letting it go. Which, thankfully, the AI has just has it road like hardwired that they just have to attack constantly. So you can just set up the defense. The defense is a lot more important than. Oh, being good at defensive is a lot more important than being attacking, that's for sure. So, we're just going to rebuild up these these few units, and then we're just going to base them across here. And we're going to start getting more units along here. And we should be okay. I'm, uh, I'm undecided whether I want to keep a relatively small professional army and have large amounts of troops I can just drop straight into mobilization. Or have a reasonably large you know, army with cannon fodder for the mobilization stage. I'm not yet decided on that really. We're very nearing the point where we can take over oh, there's no point for that. Very nearing the point where we take over France in the industrial capacity. Which is really nice to see. Um, I don't think it will take long, a few seconds even to be honest with you. Because our, our factories are improving, they're doing really well. Um, but yeah, I think that is that is a good sign for us, frankly. Um, we should we should have it. I mean, we've got the industrial capabilities of all of Austria and of Germany combined. We should be booming, frankly, in the industry. There's no there's no reason not to be. Um, so that is the main thing. That is all we just got to do is just get our craftsmen up. Just keep on building. We should be good, I think. Realistically, there's no reason for us to be of, of it shouldn't be a concern for anything really I mean obviously not being able to get the certain nations that we need in our spheres is a problem yes but at the same time again not drastically bad it just sort of sucks a wee bit but you know hey ho you win some you lose some I guess I mean that that is the that is part of it it's Victoria 2 isn't a game, just a pure wit, it's not just simple. Once you figure out what the AI is like, then it becomes easy. But obviously that is the problem. We're just desperately trying to catch the French industry, which seems to be leap, well, not leapfrogging, but jumping a wee bit. Which is frustrating, because mine is going really fast, and if theirs keeps on accelerating, it'll just be a never-ending backwards or forwards. So they're sitting at 419, 420, we're now 414, 415. So 422, 416, so yeah, like, it's, every time they progress to, we progress to, it's just constant, which is annoying, obviously, at the same time as it being understandable to an extent. So we just jack the rebels, that's irrelevant in a way, like, they won't do anything, where even, hello? Okay, like, did we have, maybe they were there, and they just died immediately, I guess. So that needs infantry. I think what we will do is, yeah, we will we will build a bunch of armies up actually, purely because at the moment there's no point us waiting around. What we're going to do is we think we rush machine guns because then we become really strong and defensive, and it makes them attacking us completely and utterly destructive, like so dangerous to attack. So I think that's the plan. Venetian nationalists, it's, a, you know, what's the point? You're all dead. It was a bad, bad decision to do that. We're in a crisis. Ah. Poland. Really? Really? Russia and France and the UK, all against Germany. Okay, game. I see your plan here. That is an absolute joke in a way. Like, come on. Just come out of a war and the game's like, yeah, you thought you saw the last of this? That's a big no. Like, 
fight. Ah, oh, whatever game. Okay, that's fine. If the game wants to play like this, it can play like that. We're going to defend all these regions now because we actually have a few more troops, and we actually saw this one coming. So we're actually able. Are you wanting white peace? You won't accept white peace. I'm not giving you all their states because they they want a lot of land. So yeah, that can that can politely do one. Um, Russia's mobilising. They're not even at war yet. Oh, they are at war. They're at war with Kiva and Kokan. We both know that's not the reason, really. That is not the main reason for them to be mobilising. That's just a facade, I think. Uh, okay, you go there, you go there, because that isn't a good thing to have. Nitroglycerin's been discovered. We can probably do the Kiel Canal fairly soon, because we need steel steamers. Iron steamers, okay, fabulous. <laughs> Let's get units up towards here, just so it ends faster. Although, I don't know if Belgium will be actually in this war because it's a great power thing Other, oh i mean i don't know there it is there is everyone no small alloys involved that so far is really useful okay britain's now mobilizing okay everyone is mobilizing that's cool that's fine do not care um we are still mobile okay whoa whoa whoa, whoa. hold the phone so they're walking through Switzerland, obviously, little surprise there. Um, actually don't even reinforce that battle. Okay, we've just got guard, let's get the machine guns. Okay, so they just lost the big battle, so they're already sitting at minus four. So we've now got the Italians helping us, which is nice to have. Um, it's not really that important to be honest with you, but I mean, it's certainly nice to have. What is Britain's mill tech from this? Eight. So what we could do in this is that. Doesn't cost us any infamy to get, so we should realistically take advantage of it. You allow us through your land, you're not being let them through. That's so kind of you. Wow, that's so nice. Unbelievable. Um, I'm going to send this video into 15 minutes purely because, again, a lot has suddenly just happened, so obviously it will be interesting to see how it ends. I know how it's pretty much going to end. I think it's a virtual guarantee. We've seen it a thousand times now how the other wars have ended, and I think that's going to be the same, really. I mean, there's no reason to think otherwise, frankly. Um, so this battle's about to be over. Where's the army we can take out of there? We'll take that one out. There you go. That's that. They they retreat into my lap. Why? Why is that a thing? How is that? A th how can that be a thing? Like, I don't understand how they can re they can retreat into your land. Surely, that physically cannot be possible. Why? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. This game, it does what it wants. Literally, does what it wants. Um. I mean, we're, they're now at minus 11. They won't accept that. I mean, whatever. I don't really care if they do or don't, to be honest with you. Um, it's a pointless province in a way. So now we are... So down here in Italy is completely pointless. They're not attacking. They're just rushing through Switzerland. You will give me access, actually. Huh. Very interesting. Okay, so that's an interesting development. So if we put them troops in here, then could we not, in theory, stop them from walking through? Just That's me just being speculatory. I'd have thought that would have been the case. But we shall see, I guess. So where else? So we'll get this army. Just all merge up there. Okay, so it's 22,000, uh, so we're engaged here with the British, which we are winning. Uh, they've got, we've got conflict going on down here, which isn't ideal, because a lot of French have just poured into this one. So we'll have to cycle them into there. Cycle that. Is this natural size army? 
first. But we will pour them into... Into there. That can go into there. Okay, then that goes into there. And now that becomes an issue for them because now they have to pour through the mountain pass to attack me, which they will lose. Pure and simple. That seems fairly foolproof to me. We shall see. I mean, this is where they choose that. Like, uh, the Russians aren't going to attack me, they're going to just push through Poland, I think. I think this war is pretty much done. Yeah, they'll peace out now. I don't, can I take any more? Obviously not, because no one wants to fight. So we've got this this tiny bit of land. Wow. <laughs> so worth it. Crazy, I know. Uh, oh, well. I will see you guys in the next part. I hope you guys have liked and enjoyed this. Uh, once again, we have proven that we aren't going to be pushed around by any of the other nations. Hopefully, in the next few parts, we'll catch up the UK's industry. And we're definitely going to surpass France's fairly soon. And, yeah, that should be the main thing, really. Bye-bye now.